not as easy as clap my hands and win. If it was that easy then... You're already a winner because of your hair and your view. And so, if I was a betting man, I'll bet you'd be there. We almost won last year, but there's this one team from another high school and they have to always built a really good robot and they beat us in the semifinals, was it then? Yes. Yeah. So is this, was this picked up out of metal or what was it? Classic and then it was a lot Ooh. How long did it take to build this? Four bars. Wow. That's such a cool... Yeah, put my lap, my, my tablet in there. I see that you already got the Juka watch on you. Yeah, it's, um, it has a 3D printed watch and I believe this was, is that printed in nylon? I got one too. Was this printed in nylon, you know? Yes. Uh, nylon foil. Is that like the 3D system with nylon? Uh, it's lightweight, it's high impact, and it's beautiful. It'd obviously be much spikier than... Yeah, it isn't that abrasive. We should, we should come to the regional and we'll be there. What day is it? Um, sometime in March. You know when, then? I have to look it up. Um, yeah, it's... Give me your card, send him yeah. an email, tell him when it is. Tell him he, got a night. He, he can stay in your upper bunk. <laughs> you have a card? No, I have an email. He has zero card. What? He has zero card. There's a QR code on the back of the scan, too. I'll send you an email. Okay. Yeah. So um yeah so for it, I know it's sometime in March um it's a it's on Friday Saturday and Sunday so you can come and be there and have fun it'll be awesome that'd be awesome no I I, I was gonna go to the uh, to the, the first kickoff in New Hampshire that already that on yeah the fourth, and then that that was like the morning before that gnarly storm that hit New Hampshire. Uh, I, I couldn't make it. Well, you could watch it live with the NASA television. They stream it for so not so that you don't have to fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw it. Uh, yeah, but I wanted to be there. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah. Because I went, I went, I went to the. Uh, I was there the first year. Three years ago, I was there. Second year, I did it via Skype. Uh? I really wanted to go this year. Um, but every year for the past three years, you I should 3D print a giant model of yourself and make your robotic <laughs> control so you can look so you're almost there. <laughs> New telepresence. Yeah. That's what you should do. Yeah. Can you help us do that? Okay. So, like, what do you and your what do you and your friends do? Like, are you like the advanced one about all of your friends? No. Most of my friends, they aren't as interested in this stuff as I am. So, uh, so what I'll do is I, so I read a lot of stuff about 3D printing and electronics and making online. And I love to tinker with things. I, um, I love to take things apart. Putting them back together hopefully happens for my parents because they don't always like it when I take things apart and it doesn't come back together. But it's I love figuring out how things work and seeing inside them. And I guess I learn all the stuff on the internet. It's amazing what you can find on the internet. So what's the most exciting thing you've done so far? Um, what's the thing that you're really excited about and passionate about? Hmm. Well, currently I'm playing around with telephone stuff. I actually have an old Western Electric Model 500 telephone, and I want to 3D print a clear cover for it. It's currently a black one, and I actually really think it'd be cool to have a clear cover for it. It is. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what the coolest thing I've done is. I also, um, I... I was able to, when I first got started with tinkering and stuff, I got an Arduino. I got a motion detector and a, like a buzzer thing. I made it where whenever it took motion, it beeped really loudly. And I put it where it was near when you walked in the house. When my parents came home, they opened the door. There was this beeping and they couldn't find where it was coming from. I thought it was funny. They, yeah. once they found out what it was, they thought it was funny. <laughs> So if you were oh. if you were if you had the ability to make anything you wanted and bring it so people could purchase your your object, your item, your device, what would it be? Anything, anything? Anything. Mm -hmm. 
Think big. I would build. I'm gonna keep it mediumly realistic. I would build a a extremely efficient energy production device. To do what? Make energy, and then you can, and then from that you can get food, and well, you can then purify water to get food, to then grow food and stuff. Because once you solve the energy problem, you sort of then can solve all these other problems. That if you have more energy that's clearly available, you can then go and solve those problems. So this kind of thinking is not just big thinking; it's called a moonshot. Well, that's we awesome. made it to that, the that's, moon. That's, that's, it's called like one shot thinking. No, it's called he's twelve and he's thirteen. He's thirteen, <laughs> and he just hit me with a, you know, something he would. You said I'm gonna keep it kind of realistic. Yeah. And you hit you hit me with the, with things thirty year olds don't think about. Right, thirty year old would be like, you know, I would have like a hologram. You can't eat a hologram, though. No, no, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, they look cool, but it's not like you can't eat them. Or, well, if you ate it, you probably have severe food poisoning. Well, poisoning and... You're a pretty special little kid. I want you to hang out with my 13-year-old family members. And just <laughs> rub off. Rub off. <laughs> yes. That's well, amazing. it depends on how open-minded they are. They have to be open-minded to new things and new technologies. If they hang out with you, maybe their minds will open. You should take them to the, to the Arizona region. Yeah, I took my mom. I took my mom. I first started with my mom. And now Dean, Dean's mom and my mom um, give out all the scholarships and grants and prizes oh. for the first team. Dean, Dean's mom and my mom hit it off really, really, really amazing. Now, Gail and my mom are really, they're really, they became pals. Uh, Scott, tell him what Dean said to you when he was oh, at ASU. Oh, he said, I asked him about why that, why education currently isn't all, like, all of it, our public education programs are at, like, first. And he said I had his vote for president. He had a what? I had his vote for president. Oh, we have to grow up faster. Yeah. Well, I, well, I really need to just make time go faster. Then I can vote for president. Well, I wonder if you could run for president, but and you aren't old enough. But when you're inaugurated, I wonder if that would work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're pretty awesome. What do you do with your free time, Father? <laughs> <laughs> there isn't a whole lot. Sounds like you might be a little challenged. <laughs> yeah. I rely on you guys to keep me educated. <laughs> well, I'm sending you. I'm sending you. Okay. Thank you. You're awesome, dude. Me too. Thank you. Rock on.